Daria Nicoletti was a master of Italian horror cinema. She is the only Italian actress to become famous worldwide for her horror career and was noticed and appreciated by Hammer Productions. She is also credited with bringing the fame of Italian cinema to the United States. But these aren't the only hidden facts about this actress. Subscribe to the channel and mention I subscribed in the comments below if you want a personal answer before we begin filming. Childhood. Daria Nicoldi was born on the 19th of June, 1950 in Florence, Italy. Her father was a Florentine lawyer. Her mother was an ancient language expert. Alfredo Casella, a composer, was her paternal grandfather. In the latter half of the 1960s, she made her way to Rome. In 1970, she appeared in four episodes of the television variety show Babao, which was scripted by Polly Paul and Ida Omboni. The program was archived and only rebroadcast by RAI six years later due to content that was deemed obscene at the time. Nicolodi's career took off in the early 1970s by working with Elio Petri on films and plays. Nicolodi also appeared in a number of television productions that year, including the serial narrative Nicotera, Without a Trace, with Rosano Brasi, Portrait of a Veiled Woman, and the play Satorino Faradola. Between 1975 and 1987, Nicolodi appeared in five Dario Argento films, Deep Red, Inferno, Tenebrae, Phenomena, and Opera. She's also credited with co-writing the screenplay for the horror film Suspiria, as well as an uncredited cameo role as woman at airport. Nicolodi is best known for her role in Mario Bava's final film, Shock, which he starred in. The breakdown of her partnership with Argento in 1985 led to her appearing in a few thrillers and horror flicks from time to time, utilizing her dark lady aura in some films, like Macaroni, The End Is No, Notes of Love, and in recent years in films produced by her daughter, Asia. In Argento's The Mother of Tears, the thematic sequel to both Suspiria and Inferno, Nicolodi made a comeback in the movie alongside her daughter in 2007. Private Life Her daughter Anna was born in 1973 while she was dating sculptor Mario Ciroli in the early 1970s. She married filmmaker Dario Argento in 1975, with whom she had Asia. However, 10 years later, in 1985, they called it quits. In New York City's Museum of Arts and Design, Argento, Il Cinema Nel Sangui, retrospective in 2012, Nicolodi was included. During the exhibition, the Argento family's impact on Italian and international filmmaking was highlighted. Nicolodi made a documentary about Dario Argento's work. The retrospective ran from 2012 to 2013. Notable film roles. Between 1975 and 1987, Nicolodi appeared in five Dario Argento films, Deep Red, Inferno, Tenebrae, Phenomena, and Opera. Not your standard bombshell. She's not your standard classic bombshell. Unlike the other cult sirens we featured, she's actually a lot leaner than she appears in pictures. It's hard to say she has a large career despite the fact that many of her films are horror. What gives Daria Nicoldi the right to be in this place? Is it because she was Dario Argento's companion and Argento is considered the father of Italian horror film? Is it just that the image of her nasty tiny teeth from the first time I saw Deep Red will never leave my mind? Be that as it may, she is a central female character in European fantasy films, whether you like her or not. Let's find out what's going on. Daughter of a lawyer, she was born on June 19, 1950 in Florence, Italy. Her grandmother, who allegedly practiced white magic and had permanatory skills, inspired her interest in the occult when she was young. In Daria's later career, this benevolent influence could be advantageous in developing opulent screenplays for her roles as a leading lady. 
1967, she fled her hometown and enrolled at Rome's National Academy of Dramatic Arts after finishing high school. Her stage debut was just around the corner. The Bird with the Crystal Plumage, a Dario Argento film, captivated her in 1969, and Dario was determined to see the brash young director. They finally met and discovered they shared a wide range of interests as a result of her perseverance. After a brief courtship, they began dating professionally, and their collaboration produced some amazing results. The two never married, despite common assumptions, but soon they gave birth to actress Asia Argento. Daria's 1975 film, Daria in Deep Red, starred David Hemmings as well. She was Gina Brezzi, a journalist who added some levity to a film known for its savagery. There are numerous radically abbreviated versions of this film available, but in order to really appreciate her character and the movie as a whole, obviously, I recommend finding the original cut and avoiding those. Argento incorporated a rock score at Daria's urging, employing the rock band Goblin, as Pink Floyd and Deep Purple were not available. Argento was thrilled with the outcomes after working with famed composer Ennio Marconi on his previous films. The world of Italian horror was forever changed as a result. Later achievements. Dario was summoned by Mario Bava, the master for his shock, also referred to as Beyond the Door 2. Retribution is the theme as a guy who was murdered by both his wife and her boyfriend, takes custody of his own son's corpse. Daria delivered an outstanding performance. A novella inspired by her grandmother's tales was written by Daria in the style of Thomas de Quincey, an author from the 19th century who was part of the Romantic literary movement. A section of Confessions of an Opium Eater, in which Daria discusses the three mothers, a triad of evil witches, would be retained by her. Daria was able to write the first draft of the screenplay for the horror film Suspiria, after recalling a tale from her grandmother about taking piano lessons at a school operated by demons. The music school morphed into a dance school. Daria and Dario also toured the continent of Europe in search of new and exciting settings for their upcoming film. In the beginning, Daria was considered for the lead role of Susie Bannon, but the film's distributor in the United States insisted on using a more well-known face. Jessica Harper was the final choice. Daria eventually turned down a role as a sidekick. The script for Inferno, more or less a sequel to Suspiria with several occult themes, was written by her using the same sensible inspiration. Daria played Elise Stallone, Vandaler, in a minor but important part around this time. The final film in Daria's trilogy has yet to be produced on film, which is a shame. Which movies caught your interest the most? Let us know in the comments below and check out the next video in this series.